What is up my fellow budget travelers? Today I'm taking you into the Punta Cana Airport in the beautiful Dominican Republic. I'm going to show you around, show you duty free, what there is to eat there. But before I jump into all that fun stuff, I know most of you are probably a little anxious going through customs and everything. So I'm going to show you what it's like to land in Punta Cana and then I'll take you on an airport tour. So let's jump right into it. As soon as you land, that heat and humidity hits you in the face and it's like, oh my gosh, I am on vacation. I am ready for this trip. So as you land, you're going to walk out onto the tarmac and you're going to walk into immigration. As you can see, a lot of people are still wearing their winter jackets and things. So before you get off the plane, just throw your jacket in your bag because it is hot out here, guys. I've never been here where I walk right through. Usually there's a lot more flights, but I think ours just happened to be the only time there. So you're gonna go through, you show your passport to immigration. After you get that passport stamp, they have a small duty free as you go towards the luggage claim area. It's on the smaller side, but it does have a lot of the essentials. So feel free to pick up your liquor and stuff for the trip if you want. Otherwise, continue over here to these carousels. One of them will have your bag on them. They also have this music playing on the side. So feel free to tip them if you want, but it's not mandatory. So now here's the part you need to listen in on. You're going to get your luggage scanned and you're gonna walk down all these hallways. They're going to try to sell you timeshares, limo rides. It's basically like scammer alley. I don't know why it's allowed in airports, but you see this a lot. So just walk past all of this stuff. Just keep walking, walk, 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 all the way out to this outside area. And this is where all the cabs are. So hopefully you've already arranged a shuttle with your resort and they're gonna be standing here along this wall here so just look for the right shirt and they're gonna be your shuttle guide to get you to your shuttle they'll have your name on a list so they'll ask for your name and you'll show them your identification then they'll take you over to the shuttle and it's most likely a shared shuttle so don't be surprised when they stop at a couple other resorts before they take you to your resort as far as tipping goes in a shared shuttle i do a dollar per person now I wanna say this just cause I've had friends that get nervous about this, but just so you guys know, these are not like gangs when you see a bunch of guys on motorcycles. These are like taxis. This is also the general way that everybody gets to work. So you'll see a lot of people like in trucks with people piled on, or you'll see like two or three people on a bike depending on how big the bike is. So these are taxis, just so you know. Now, when you go to leave Punta Cana, it's a similar process where you're going to take the shuttle to the airport. Depending on what time, it's probably going to be at least three hours before your flight or something like that. So you're going to want to schedule that when you get to the resort. But sometimes you do get that shuttle where you're the only ones inside. So at that point, I would do like five dollars because if you think about it, this guy's been driving through traffic to take you back and forth. But if it's a shared shuttle, just do a dollar per person. Generally speaking, this is a pretty small airport, so it doesn't take like a whole ton of time to get through security and things. And they do encourage the self-service kiosks. So these look similar to the ones back in the States. You're gonna go through the process and I do suggest printing out your boarding pass because they ask for that a lot here. So it's just easier to have that paper than always whipping out your phone. And also in Dominican Republic, you're going to have to get one of these. It's a QR code that gets assigned to you before you fly into Dominican Republic. It's just kind of their way of saying you were person, you know, 1000 whatever that came into the country and that's their way that they keep track of you. You're going to have to show this QR code multiple times. So it's easier just to have it screenshotted on your phone than to try and find it another time. So just keep that handy as you're going through the check-in process. So after you print your boarding pass and your bag tag, you're gonna go ahead and drop it at your airline. They do have a couple snack places and stuff out here, but there's plenty of places to eat once you get through security, which I will show you. But for now, this is the security process. So it's interesting because some of it is outside, some of it is inside, but you're gonna continue just following everybody down and you're gonna go through this process in this room over here, where again, you show your boarding pass and that number and they're also going to scan your bag and you go through, you know, just like regular security stuff. Then once you make it through that, it's going to take you right this way through duty-free. So now you can shop till you drop. I'll just leave you some footage here so you can see what kind of pricing and what kind of things that they offer in duty-free.
And keep in mind, Duty Free isn't the only shops. They have a bunch of souvenir shops and things. So I'll continue walking you through so you get an idea of what all they have. They have monitors everywhere, so it's really easy to keep track of your flight while you're shopping or eating. So check this out. This goes right into the main entryway area. And this is where you're going to find a lot of bars. And then they have a cafeteria, which will pop up here on the left. They had more live music here inside the airport, so that was really fun to see. If you smoke or if you just want some fresh air, you can go out on the smoking patio. They have a few different ones, but that is the main one over there. And then food wise, they've got a Taco Bell, there's a Wendy's, they've got Pizza Hut. There's like a little market with sandwiches and things, Cinnabon. There's also like traditional Dominican food over here at the last bite. I was excited to see that they have these peanut things that I usually can only find in Mexico, so I was excited to have some of those. We got ourselves some champagne and then we went out on the smoking patio just to like live it up in that nice warm air some more. As you can see, I was a little sweaty because it was very hot, but we were soaking up those last moments of sun before we flew back to Ohio where it was snowing. So <laughs> if you wanna waste some time, watch everybody boarding the flights. They also play music while you get onto the bus. So I recommend this area to live it up for your last few minutes in Punta Cana. Then going back inside, our gate was past the last bite. So if you go and continue around this corner, there's a little like children's play area with a bunch of houses and stuff. And there's also another duty free. They also have a pharmacy so you can get some really cheap you know, aspirin or Tylenol, all sorts of stuff in there. So check that out on your way if you want a deal on that. And as you go down the hallway, they've got a lot of the history of the Punta Cana airport here. So that was fun to kind of read and kill some time.
As you walk through the airport, you'll see these like posts, which are charging stations. And you can see they're just a regular plug, so you shouldn't need a converter. They also have the USB port there too. And the seats are actually really comfortable and they also have rocking chairs over here too. While boarding the plane, you're going to head back outside. You'll be underneath these Tiki Hut things. So if it's raining, don't worry, you won't get wet. But you're going to board these buses, which will then take you to the plane. And they're all going to the same place. So just go in any door, it doesn't matter. And these buses will take you back over the tarmac and you're going to go up one of those stairway kind of things. I forget what they're called, but they're like those elevated stairs, those things. So just follow the directions as they guide you off of the bus and you head up to the plane. And hopefully you have a safe flight. And if you have any questions about Punta Cana or anything about Dominican Republic and getting on and off the planes at the airport, feel free to let me know in the comments. It's honestly a really easy process. It's just for some people who aren't used to it, it could seem complicated. So I wanted to really go in there and tell you thoroughly about the whole process from arrival to departure. So I hope you like this video. If you wanna see some other airports that I've been to, check out this playlist here. Otherwise, if you're looking to hear more about Dominican Republic and all-inclusive resorts and all that fun stuff on a budget, check out this playlist here. Otherwise, Watch this video so you know exactly what happens with the e-ticket. It'll just make life easier for you. I'll see you there.